Hey guys, Anthony Yo with a demo and walkthrough video on FlexClip, a free cloud-based video creation app with which you can create different types of videos using pre-made video templates or create your own videos from scratch. Once you've logged into your FlexClip account, you'll see the My Projects section. If you've not created any video projects yet, this section will be blank. And you'll only see this Create New button. I've created a separate tutorial on how to create videos in FlexClip, so feel free to check it out. Once you create video projects, they will be displayed here, as you can see. If you hover your mouse over a specific project, you'll see an Edit button to edit the existing video project. And I'll get back to this in a moment. If you click this Vertical Dots button, you can rename the project, duplicate the project, and delete the project. So let's click the edit button of this video project and it'll open the video editor. Down below is a timeline also known as the storyboard. This project has four scenes and if you hover your mouse over a scene, you'll see this play from here button which will play the video from that particular scene onwards as you can see here. There is also a duplicate button that allows you to duplicate a particular scene and you can click this X button to delete a particular scene. You can click this plus button to add a new scene to your video project. In this section at the top, there are three tabs. In the first tab, you can add text animations. You'll find quite a few built-in text animations. You'll also find some logo slides here. In the second tab, you can add music to your video project. And in the third tab, you can add a watermark and change the aspect ratio of your video. This is the live preview section. When you click this play button, it'll only play the preview for that particular scene. You can use this button to adjust the duration of the scene. And if you want to change the scene image, you can click this add stock media button to add an image or video from the built-in library. Or click this Add Local Media button to add an image or video from your computer. You can also use this Record button to record a voiceover for each scene. Your changes are automatically saved, and you can use this Preview button to preview the entire video project. And finally, you can use this Export button to render an MP4 video of the project. You can click this FlexClip logo in the top left corner to go back to the My Project section. But that's pretty much it. To learn more about FlexClip, check this review video, as well as my other FlexClip tutorials. Well, hope you found this demo and walkthrough video useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.